Hello you gorgeous people and hope you're all having an absolutely legendary day. Welcome back to the Ultimate Survivor on Scorched Earth. And today we're racing our 170 wyvern egg we got. Yes, I am I'm, I'm chucking this thing. Oh, as you can see, my Rex is a breeding outside. But I am chucking this thing right here. Should be able to hatch. It's gonna take five minutes. We're getting our 170 fire wyvern. I don't know if we're gonna get male or female. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I can't even remember. From last episode's kind of shenanigans, we are getting some X's going. Now this Rex here, we'll talk about it, got the, the health and the the best melee and basically everything good except for like the movement stat, which doesn't matter, so that's a start. If we can get a 213 female, would be nice as well. We got a 214 female with the weaker health, but I should get that raising so we can get some more eggs going and I'm just gonna have to start speeding up my, um, just speeding up all, all the uh, production of eggs and all that kind of stuff because, <sighs> yeah, it's gonna take some time. That's a, is that a yellow drop, like right there. Or is that a green drop? That's a green drop. I ain't going for no green drop, man. Only green thing I want is green orb and to take. So I was like, I don't know how many more talents I do need. I know I have enough talents to take on Gamma now. I think I need like 30 more lightning. I think it's 30 more lightning talents. Uh. Uh, 27 more poison and 28 more fire so we're gonna have to be taking down a bunch of wyverns but we're gonna be able to do it in style we're gonna have our fire wyvern ready to go oh, i'm actually excited for this guy or girl whatever they shall be um i'll get back to you once the egg's hatched so i'm probably just gonna pay attention to so yeah <laughs> look what i've done i've put a bloody a air conditioner under them and then they're just hatching up here this is just a big mess that i'm gonna have to deal with outside here just have a bunch of wrecks just laying eggs and doing their thing out here oh well i don't really mind it's just it's the start i only got a few more things to do before we can like once the, if the rex army's grown up and i've got a good saddle blueprint we can start taking the boss magical take it down uh, yeah it's not far not far we might get a couple of weeks in between when i'm just breeding them because we get back to back episodes with the uh, wyvern and then i need to find myself a good ut for the next episode and we'll do our um how much health did you end up losing oh my god we remember how caramel fell into the lava last episode i was, I was gonna say but that's how much health. she was down to 3k health we nearly lost her we nearly lost Karen West there because uh, a bit of my stupidity though. Or last episode. It's actually like a couple hours ago <laughs> for me because I'm I'm batch recording today. So yeah. Um, I'll see you guys once. Yeah, two minutes. Two minutes until egg hatching. Alrighty, our baby wyvern's about to hatch and two, one is getting picked up straight away. Watch. Woo! Disappeared. Let's go get our baby wyvern. It was a male and it... What the hell is that health stat, guys? <gasps> Can, can we just all agree that health stat is abysmal, that melee stat is abysmal, that weight stat's disgusting. Ay, 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 that's just not okay. But it's a wyvern. And we get a full imprint on it. Its health is only 3k health, so 280 melee damage. God damn it. Kind of looks kind of neat. I, I like his colors. He's going to quickly raise up. And once he is fully raised up, I'll probably get back to you guys. Alrighty, guys. We're getting to the last imprint on our fire wyvern here. He's at, what, 90% raised? I think one more imprint because it gets 14% per imprint. We'll get its final stats. And once a cut out, let's go. Easy. Don't have to do the reset trick. Nice. He has now got a full imprint and he's gonna be fully raised in about like minutes. So once he's fully raised, we're gonna take you for a test run. We're gonna definitely heal you up as well first. So I might get some meat until you start healing you up now while we're waiting. While we're waiting for him to be raised, I'm gonna heal him up. Give him the heals. Oh, there, right. That won't actually do anything until he's fully raised. Never mind. He won't do that. And now we've got two female Rexes breeding with a male Rex that has the better stats. So. We're getting there. Hopefully we can get a base. It would be nice to get a base pair of Rexes soon, but at the moment I've only been getting males. Only males from now on out. So I haven't had any more females since those two, which kind of sucks. It's kind of dupe. Now, uh, I love the, like he's very like a kind of, I don't even know what kind of colors he would be. I gotta, I gotta look at his colors to give him a name. After he's raised, I'm gonna give him a name. I think I've got a name for him. Cause he's kind of like white. He's kind of like, actually, yeah. We're calling, I've got his name. We've already got his name. He's going to be Ash the Fire Wyvern because he's kind of got like that ashy white kind of texture to him. I was either, I was going between Ash or like 
It was like a darker color than the cool, cool charcoal. Yeah, we got Ash the Fire Wave in here, boys. And girls and legends and all kinds, we have our Fire Wave. Now, will I go steal another Wave and Egg? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we might just go over there with Ash and just be like, yo, what's up? Hello. But to be honest, Caramel, Caramel's still healing here. Caramel's still healing from <laughs> from that fall, fall of lava, man. Oh, it would have been so sad to lose Caramel. We still have Patch back at base, and then we have uh, Raise of this Tyler to see the, the gr oh, the dark green might go. No, I need a different color than that. I was looking at this dark green to see how that would go with that, but I don't know. It might be too good. Dark. I need a lighter color than that. Oh, it's still going. Do we have any 213s? No, 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 no new mutations down here. That's a bummer. Oh, what we will do is we'll give um Ash the baby blender as well, and he's fully raced up. Let's go. No more slow RG flying. Come here, Ash. Oh my god, yo, yes. Flyer to the flames. How much does let's let's just see. Oh, that burnt that thorny dragon to death. That was quite easy. Come on. Let's see. Let's see how much I do right now. All right, come on. 422 damage. Burn. Cooked Parasera. Therium for dessert for Ash. Let's go. Okay. We're going to run our stem real quickly. It's the only problem. Stand. Let's get up here. Oh, it's so nice. Uh, we've made it to the big leads. Let's heal him up a bit. There we go. Got four levels for that, but I'm gonna give him the baby blender. And I think we'd go and see how many levels we can get up with him, because we'll go with the baby Rex blender over the baby Thyla blender. Any females? Nope. These are all going into my inventory because they are all not needed right now. So, <sighs> Ash, you're gonna get a nice baby Rex snack. So let me go. One, Rexy, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Eight Rixes that are gonna unclaim now. I wish there's a faster way to unclaim all these dinos. Like I know the best way to do the baby blend is actually not have something pick up the, the babies like and just hatch the eggs and go from there. But I, I just like using the newborn trap so I don't have to pay attention to the eggs too much. And I can just let it do its thing, let them breed and do shebang bang while I work on other stuff. It's a time. Time restraints are not fun. Alrighty, come here. One more baby today to be unclaimed. And then Ash, you ready for the snack? Yeah, you are. Let's go, snack time. How many levels? 39 levels, let's go. Okay, let's get that half up a bit. Let's get to about, let's go Tinker Health to start off with. Let's get that stam up a bit. Go 1200 stam for now. Let's get that melee up a bit. Let's go to about 500%. And then we'll get a bit more stam. Go 1300. We get the 1400, yeah. And a bit more health. There we go. Level 209. Let's get some, let's get some healing done. Okay, I'm gonna do this for a little bit. Get to about 5k health. And then we're gonna go out and scorch some things in the desert. Make them feel our pain and wrath. As we now have the power of a Wyvern. It's a bummer that its stats are actually pretty abysmal though. I don't have to worry about weight though. It, it's like a thousand weight without me having to push it up. It's quite nice for a Wyvern. But the stand was just not there. All the melee, all that. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just sad. But it is what it is. Okay, I'm ready to go flying. Um, let's see. Any drops around that I could maybe go to. Now my 500% melee damage. I'm ready to scorch some fools. Come here. Let me just boom. Nope. That did not hit any of them. I don't with fire weapon. It's not like a long range attack, but I love it. The burn. Burn. Oof. Burn. Come here, Mr. Saber. I want to eat your soul, sir. I should go check out the Wyvern Trench now with this guy. And see if I can steal any more eggs. Even though I'm pretty sure Caramel does so much more damage. That bleed and stuff. And is that a... That's a yellow drop over there. I should go get that, actually. Let's go. Let's go to the yellow drop. Let's see what it has for me. Oh, it feels so nice to fly. Fly free. Look at all those Rexes bleeding on my little... Sh my little island pillar. My little rock pillar. God damn it. Why do I like building on 
the whole thing. Alrighty, let's see. Okay, this is nice. So I can actually fly a bit more because I got that stam up a bit. Ash killed a Jabo. Damn, I, I caught a Jaboa in the attack on the Parasite Ethereum. Poor little brother. Oh, there's a yellow drop over there, so we might get that one too. We need drops. I should actually go desert drop hunting with uh, Ash here. That might be a good idea. I have no clue where the desert drops spawn though, but I know there's some good ones around the desert and they can actually have some good loot, which I need. Maybe give me a Rex blueprint saddle, maybe, maybe baby, could be nice. Oh no, it's this yellow one. Watch, watch, it's gonna, it's gonna keep going. It's gonna keep going. It's gonna come down. It's just gonna land like right, right next to me, right down here. It's gonna go through the ground. Through the ground. Straight in there. Be like, Hi, I don't care about physics, man. I don't care about the world boundary. I don't give a damn. I'm just gonna keep going and going. And then look at it. It's gonna disappear. Into the ground it goes. So that's a waste of a yellow drop. Why don't we go check out the other one? Then I might go look looking at desert drops. Could go ahead and try and steal another egg, but in reality, I don't really want to be risking ash all my life right now. And I don't have like caramel or um, starly on back just in case I need it. But yes, I can now outfly other wyverns, but <laughs> it's not like getting in the trench with a wyvern. The stale eggs is the most optimal way to do it. It's doable. I still need to do that last cave, which is like, I think it's over that way somewhere. Yeah, I, I, I'll do it during the UD episode, as I said, because it's like near the UD. So once I once I get a UD knocked out, I'll be like, okay, let me go this way. And... Hello, Mr. Yellow Drop. Do you have uh, some goodies for me? Do you want to bless me like a legend? Because I just got Ash, and Ash is really cool. And. The rest of the stuff is not cool. That was... What? I didn't really get... Thorny Dragon Saddle. Why am I stuck here? Okay. Let's just keep healing. Alrighty. Uh, what do we want to do? I do want to go look out for some desert drops. But I have actually no clue where they, where they spawn. So we could just go out in the desert. Have a scorcher of a time. Fly around and maybe see if we can find it. Oh, look. Hello, UD. Hello, UT. What level are you? Level 5? That's not good. Burn! I cooked a uni! Fluffy Rex for breakfast! Late night snack on the re- The UD. Boom! Give me all that good stuff. Uh, let's give it more melee damage. I might give this the Thyla Baby Blender as well. Just so I can get some more levels on him. I want to be able to use him quite a lot. And like, at the moment, he is decent, decent stats. And leveled up, he's a bit more better. A bit more better, but we get like 87 levels or something. I think that's what it is. Correct me if I'm wrong, but we're gonna go down this way and we're just gonna, we're gonna scout the desert for some desert drops on our new wyvern ash here. I'm actually so happy to have a wyvern now on Scorched. And this guy will be coming with me all the way to Genesis and all that stuff if I actually... I don't know if I... A couple of people have said I can't use anything until Gen 1 instead of like being able to use an extinction so i had to start fresh with tames on extinction which could be harsh but i don't mind doing that for that if that's what you guys are cool with then i'm cool with that too it's just gonna be extinction is gonna be a pain in the ass to get started on let me scout around is there any desert drops out here i have no clue where the desert drops spawn so i'm just gonna scour the desert for like locations that oh that's the wall that came at me a bit faster than I was expecting it. I am going to fly around and search for desert drops. Maybe we will get lucky, maybe we will not. I don't know. I'm going to look at places of interest, places I haven't been. Maybe find... Oh look, a little oasis. Ah, da, 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 da. Come here. Come here. Die. Oh, Mr. Scorpion. Burn! Mr. Mantis, burn! I burn your souls. Give me, give me the, yes, the explorer note. Ow! Jesus! You hit hard. Damn, this one should have grabbed the explorer note with the wyvern before the baby blender. Oh, that would be mad XP. Uh, let's get that health up to 11k and get that left a little bit more. Let's go, killing spree! All oh, you buggies are gonna be eaten alive! Scorched! You're gonna be toasted, crisped, 
burned alive. Aha! You see, bug, we burn it. Come here, mantises. Burned. Ooh, that's some XP, though. Keep getting the heels up. Going, we've got a lot of meat now. Sweet, this is actually, this is nice. I feel like I've got all the power in the world. So I run into a bloody alpha fire wave and then it's like, ha ha, what power? Look at that, I just burnt everything. So crisp, there's no desert drop out this way. I don't think so. I'll keep exploring, looking for drops. This is what we want. We, we want some good loot, man. I need it. I actually absolutely need some good loot. I'm also scouting out because you haven't watched it yet. I'll tell you at the end of the video why I'm scouting out a lot. But we're still hunting. Seeing if we could find some desert drops. I don't see any anywhere. I actually have no clue where they spawn. But I'm just gonna look around. See if we can find anything. Do, 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 do. Oh, hello, explore note. That should have activated. Yeah. Oh, that's gonna be some XP for the fire weapon. Let's go. Four more levels. Um, six hundred damage now. Let's go. And we just get another level because of that. Let's get some more health on him. Ash is leveling up quite nicely. Let's see if we can find some Rexes out here. Any Rexes out here? Hello. Cut down the the gamma there so it's not so oversaturated and bright. Hello, any Rexes? No. Okay. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna land right next to this Paris Ethereum and bite. And then burn. Give me levels. 12k health. A bit more melee. Let's go. Ash is now level 220, which means it's gone up 50 levels. Let's go. Oh, hello, Rex. You're good for XP. Level 5? Dookie. Let me just come in and want charcoal, Rex. Charcoal, Rex, we got. Nice and, nice and burnt. Let's keep going. Let's keep flying around. I better go check out some more. I want to check out more desert drops in there. The far part of the desert. I, I, and hopefully I can find one at least once while I'm actually going through Scorch Earth. Because I know I'm going to complete. I know I'm going to take down the Manticore. It's going to be a post cake. Because our Rexes are going to be mutated like crazy. And we're going to get another crispy Rex. And he did. And I appreciate the XP and the food. And I land. Thank you. Whoa, there's something landing there and I can't tell what color it is, but it could be good. I'm, I'm gonna make Ash a nice, powerful boy. I wish it had some better stats, but it is what it is. That's a yellow drop, ain't it? Yellow drop out in the desert. Not bad. A desert drop, but not an actual desert drop. You know what I mean? Now, I'm pretty sure. Yes, more Explorer nose. Give me them levels. Okay, let's go. Yeah, that should be enough. Stam. Go there. Okay. I do want to be able to deal a lot of damage with this guy. I kind of do want to go back to the Wyvern Trench and just murk Wyverns and get eggs. But we're going to be able to douche the damage and take the damage. So I've got to, I've got to level him up a bit. But he's up 57 levels, which is nice. Burnt. There's some death worms out here. Actually, we might have to go kill some death worms. There's some death worms out here. There, is there another explorer note on here? I've opened that one. Wait, is that a green drop? I thought it was a yellow drop. It's a green drop. Now, I did see some death worms. There we go. Let's let's see what we can do against the death worm. I'm literally right above it. What? There was a death worm here, wasn't there? Burn! Crispy death worm! Crispy death worm! Come on, I want your XP. Ooh, this you hit hard. Come on. Crispy death worm. Come on, we got the death worm kill. Come on, Ash. Oh, God. Ooh, that's... That's some XP, but that took some health. <laughs> and now the vultures have got my kill. 
but we got 10 levels out of that, so I guess worth it. Let's get up some health. Let's go 15k health, you say? Yeah. And let's get let's get that 700 melee. Let's go. Okay, I really need to heal up Ash, but yo, death worm kill. Okay, you can take a death worm. Our Jaboa is crying about something. There's something going on. There's definitely something going on, so we're gonna head back to base before I get caught in some shitty weather. I don't know what one that is. Is that the thunderstorm one? I'm not 100% certain. I'm just gonna land up here. We'll heal up while we wait for st we stam up. I definitely gotta get this guy all healed up, and then maybe try and take on the uh, the wyvern trench after the the weather event that's about to happen. I'm thinking it's a lightning storm. Oh, purple drop could give me something good. Maybe a better long neck rifle, because I still need one. Psst, not the greatest drop there, that's not what we want. Alrighty, back to base we go. Oh, is that rain? Wait, it is, it's rain. Huh, that's a nice occasion, as there's rain in here on Scorched Earth. Not a common occurrence at all, so I'm going to sit here and waste a bunch of my prime uh, uh, my raw meat to heal up ash and we're gonna bring caramel as well which I need to heal up as well so we have two things to deal damage with and we are going to see and go in back to the trench and say hello um, why did I want to come in here again I want to drop off some stuff so I'll see you guys in a second once I'm heading back to the trench it's raining all right legends we are on our way back to the waving trench once again this time with our own wyvern. <laughs> yes, we are taking Ash to the trench. Now I've held him up a bit. I'm not gonna get myself in too many dicey situations. He's got over 12k health now, which is nice. First, I need to make sure. Wait, is that? No, that tree looks really odd. Okay. First, we need to get to the trench, check out our turrets, because I don't know how well they're going to be going, or any of that kind of stuff. And we will see how it goes. But first, can I land? Can we... Ash, please! Land! That's what we want. I want yellow drop with good stuff. I'll take the whip. The rest, no go. I now have an ascendant whip, which... Probably not gonna use ever, but oh well, it's cool. Why have trench? Hello, how's it going? Oh, there's that. Is that the nest I stole from? So I got new no, that's the nest I stole from. Is there any new wyverns down here? Oh, there's a poison wyvern here. I could probably stuff its day. No, I can't because I can't aim. I pissed it off though, so he's gonna come up to my turret tower. Come, and it's dead. Dead poison waven. Thank you. I am just looking to see what eggs are here. There's another eggs there. What's in that? What kind of egg is it? Level 40. Dookie. Um, that is a dookie egg. I'm not gonna bother picking that up. I'm not gonna bother even picking that up. We're just gonna keep scouring around to see what else is in here. See if there were any other nests from last episode. Because now I feel a little bit safer. I can deal with some damage as well. Sip to a fire wyvern. And I got a turret tower to fly to straight away. That is a lightning wyvern right below me. There's a lot of wyverns down here. There's a lot down here, what the hell? Is there any nests down this way or no? I didn't even explore this side of the thing, cave, because I didn't even bother. There's a nest right there. I wouldn't mind what's in said nest, but I gotta, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some attentions. Yo, wyverns, hello. Come on, chase me. Chase me, Sir Wyvern. Come to your death up in the sky right here. Yeah, there's something waiting for you over here. Mr. Poison Wyvern? Lightning Wyvern. Okay, thank you for that. Now I want to eat you. And I want your talent. Because I'm going to need your talents. I'm probably going to use this a lot. Just come in here with Ash and just drag Wyverns out right up into death. I want to check out what that nest is though. <laughs> I'm intrigued. You have piqued my interest. So I am going to fly through the Dangersville. And then dodge the fire. Take a massive turn. And drag said Wyverns to the death trap. Just a one? 
Just the one. Damn it, I wanted more than one. But it's going to meet death. Alrighty. Death has been given to a fire waven. And I want its talent. Thank you for your talent. And we will continue our journey to find wyverns to drag out of the trench so I can check out this egg. Hopefully there's no alpha fire wyvern over here. That would, that would really draw me a miss. I was trying to... Re oh, it's a lightning wyvern egg. I want it. I want it. I don't know what level it is, but I want it. Come on, Mr. Lightning Waven. I have I have a present for you. It's called tarts. It's called lead. A lot of bullets. And you're gonna go. <laughs> oh well, that's a waste of a talent. I'm not going to get that thing. Is it? I want this lightning waven egg. I want to check it without dying. So we're gonna come back down here again. Come on in. I tracked out more of these wyverns. I know that's a... That's one wyvern. That's two wyvern. Oh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, God. I hate lightning wyverns. One reason they deal so much. How many do I got up? They got, they got three or two? Two after me. Uh, two for one deal. Not bad. Two for one deal for the turrets? I don't mind if I do. Oh. I'm out of bullets. I'm out of bullets. I'm gonna have to fight this lightning waven. Wait, you hit for 70? Okay. I gotta get. I'm out of bullets in my turrets. Never mind. Oh no. Oh, stink. Uh, it's freaking chasing me still. Oh, that's a dead waven. And thanks for the lightning talon. Thank you. I was only a level 5, but. Okay. Now we're out of turrets. That kind of makes my plan of uh, dragging wavens to turret out uh, of bullets a little bit less worth it. So. I guess I'm gonna have to come back when I have more bullets <laughs> or make more bullets and drain this trench of their talons because I need to do that. What level is it? Level 80. I think we can give it the good burn burn from behind and just scorch it to death. That's what I'm thinking of doing. Okay, he's burning. He's burning. Oh yeah, we're gonna be able to scorch this thing. Scorched. Minced meat, boy. Okay. Now, the thing is, I want to go for that egg, but I don't want to grab it and then be in danger. I want to make sure there's nothing left to bother me. But there's a fire wyvern down there. Like, I can outfly any of these wyverns as well, but I'm just going to make sure there's nothing. Uh, there's a couple wyverns over here. Actually, a few wyverns over this side. Uh, a couple of them lightning wyverns. That's a bit of the scary side. I'm just going to see if I can fight this one. What level is this wyvern? 150. 150 male wyvern. A uh, fire wyvern. Can I get this egg, actually? I gotta be careful of doing this. Level 80 egg. Do I take it? Do I not? Take it. Oh, I want. I want out. We got the egg and we're dipping. I'm dipping. Peace on the streets, boys. Thank you for your level 80 egg. I'm not gonna use it, but thank you. Uh, I'm peaced out, bro. I'm going back to base. You ain't catching up to me, guys. I'm gone. Long gone. Oh my god, that, that big chasing me. Now, I'm hoping they'll stop chasing me. I'm just gonna chill for a moment here. Egg's no longer in my inventory, so... We should be good to take this egg back to base. I'm not gonna raise it, but it's a lightning weapon. I can always check for more eggs. It's something, it's something, so let's get back to base. I think we're fine now. Not gonna have a lightning wave and knock on my door trying to destroy my uh, Rex army <laughs> that I'm breeding. Okay, well, hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. We've got good old Ash here, our fire wave and lovely thing, dealing damage, helping us get around the map very easy. It's quite nice. Oh, look, there's first base as our starting point. So, hope you guys have enjoyed, and also make sure to go check out the video right here. This is the 100 days hunter video where i hunted down my fellow youtuber axeman for a video and i'd like you guys to go 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 watch it if you haven't watched it already it is an amazing video so i'll see you guys in the next one peace